but we have another program for them. Thank you. The, the peers had to make that disclaimer because, Your Excellency, I, I many times don't agree on why Nairobi is considered big. Um, Your Excellency, the President um, of the Republic of Kenya, William Ruto, uh, Waziri uh, Alice, Waziri Kindiki and Professor Ndungu, colleague governors led by our chair, uh, development partners, World Bank, uh, country director, and uh, everyone who's here today. I've been asked to welcome you here. I don't know if I'm allowed to, because this is State House. Uh, but generally, welcome to, to Nairobi. Um, this program is indeed important um, for us, because the future is greatly urbanizing. Our cities are urbanizing. Um, by, I think, 2050, 65% of the world's population is going to be in cities. In Nairobi, for instance, we'll have 10.5 million people um, in this capital city by the year 2050. We need to think hard about how we future-proof our cities. I think the challenges that we've seen in recent days in terms of the infrastructure, in terms of housing, in terms of you know, the, the drainage systems, tell us that there's need to plan for that future today. Um, and we really want to thank the World Bank you know, for the support that they've been offering our country in looking at our municipalities. Now, when appears where I, I may not agree with the CUSP or meeting Nairobi and Mombasa is that there are many ways through which we're also decentralizing our services. In Nairobi, we are now undertaking a system of you know, restructuring our capital into boroughs. You know, we, we are going to have six boroughs, Nairobi North, East, West, South, and South, uh, Southeast, that will step down decision-making will create more centers of customer service. The County Government Act talks about um, service-oriented you know, uh, government, and that, I think, needs quite um, some support. Before, we had uh, NAMSIP, um, NAMSIP 1, um, that looked at the metropolitan areas. Many times, the urban poor are neglected. If you look at interventions that have been there, for instance, um, the resilience uh, and, and, and just securing livelihoods for our people in the lower areas, um, food support, um, hunger. Attention is given to the arid areas, attention is given to the rural areas, but urban poverty many times, and Senator Governor Kihika and uh, Governor Nyongo, you know what I'm talking about, that those in informal settlements many times suffer much, much more. We say Nairobi ni shamba ya mawe. If you don't have resources, you'll have nowhere to stay, you'll have nothing to eat. There's more community in the rural areas. So we really want to ask that you support and you can come up with a new program for the cities. If you look at some of um, the, the, the things that Mombasa has to grapple with and Kisumu has to grapple with, and Nairobi, for instance, street lighting. You know, street lighting, the bill is on the county, but if we switch off the lights, it's a national security problem. Um, should that be a bill that is left to the formula of devolution, or there should, should there be specific support to these cities for, 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 for functions such as those? The Urban Areas and Cities Act envisions or envisages special financing for the capital and special financing for such um, interventions. Um, my colleague governors, I want to encourage you as you move to municipalities um, and as you create these new urban areas to also know that it comes with certain challenges. Number one, you will lose a lot of what you call political homogeneity when you create uh, municipalities and cities. The people who come there might not be of the same political strand, and that is why you have to do a lot of um, balancing, as we have to do in the city. Number two, as you create those um, centers, and I'll give an example. In uh, Kakamega, I don't know if the governor of Kakamega is here, um, around Sigalagala, because of the, of the you know, technical training and the university there, it has become almost a new city. There is pressure on housing. Um, Sigalagala is just on your left as you go towards uh, Kakamega from Bungoma. It has become an entire, almost a metropolis with people from different parts of the country and a huge strain on our resources. So we hope, you know, in, in long and short that you can help us just look at the economic um, issues that uh, we, we need support on. In Nairobi, we are taking a planning process of Vision 2050 to look at, yes, we know that there will be 10.5 million people then. 
what do we need to do today? And how do we then move this into 10-year uh, uh, plans? We hope we can get support from that. We have not yet gotten support um, in that planning process. Your Excellency, we've discussed how you can help us, even you know, just with the, you know, the technical teams, because the future is not going to plan yourself uh, itself. So, Bonapiers, thank you. We will still make a case for Nairobi and Mombasa on COSP, but also on uh, the Kenyan Urban Mobility Improvement Program. Your Excellency, the PSA, there's a bigger program that looks at the cities, but this program, the prioritization has not been done by the county. And so a huge chunk of those resources are going to commuter rail, yet we know the challenges. Yesterday you were in Madare. You saw the challenges those people have, you know, in terms of mobility, in terms of housing, in terms of livelihoods. We need to focus on those. So thank you and welcome to Nairobi. Asante.